Hey everybody, welcome back to the Overwatch channel on YouTube. If you're interested in researching what reality is really all about, uh, I welcome you to check out my website, overwatchproject.com. There's a lot of information here. A lot of links that lead you uh, for, into areas you can study and um, hopefully figure out a way to escape the matrix someday. Anyway, in this video, I wanted to talk to you about two things that are kind of related. One is this Elon Musk story and his company Neuralink. Neuralink is this uh, company that he bought uh, that he's uh, making or uh, doing research basically to merge brains with machines. Now, this is, uh, in, you know, it's really kind of scary on, on one end. Um, and it, it, uh, I have to question what will this do to the human soul, the spirit? How will this affect consciousness? There is a movie out. It's not available online or in DVD yet, but I think it's coming out soon. It, I don't know if it's still out in theaters. I, I can't wait to watch it. It's called Ghost in a Shell. I remember looking at the... Uh, like anime books of this a long time ago and there's some animated movies available for the same story but in sci-fi in good sci-fi you get truth in allegory okay if it's good sci-fi you'll you'll relate to it <clears throat> sometimes only on a subconscious level but you'll relate to it because there's hidden meaning hidden messages and your subconscious response to symbolism and if you want to check out the trailers, um, I'll link to these tabs I've opened to. I'll put the links below. So there's a search on YouTube for the trailer, which there are many. And there's this a link to the first five minutes of the movie uh, with the trailer, which is interesting. But right here in the beginning of this movie, there's a conversation going on at a dinner. And one of the people in the conversation actually says that he's concerned like, he's participating in the technology, but he is concerned about what does it do to the soul, which is an interesting question. Um, and I really don't know, because <clears throat> if you understand a lot of these scientists, they have an incorrect view of our consciousness. They really do, some of them at least seem to publicly believe, I don't know what they privately believe, but in public they believe consciousness is just like a computation thing that the brain does. And they ignore all the uh, data from near-death experiences, from out-of-body experiences, from um, um, the DMT research that's been done. Uh, they ignore a lot of data. Uh, so there is a question. Since the technology may be ignoring data about how our consciousness actually works, what will it do to consciousness of people that uh, participate in this technology someday? Uh, I really don't know the answer. And um, I believe, the, you know, in the, in the um, movie, Scarlett Johansson's character, and this is something that uh, is, uh, might interest uh, people, it, will it be possible for someday for people with uh, a really powerful consciousnesses to start to hack the system of the Neuralink? Will this create a whole new kind of hacker that doesn't have to exactly learn code because he can, he or she can uh, um, simply download what they need to know and then use their brain to... Um, use their consciousness via their brain via the neural link to then start to hack the technology if that makes any sense um i'll just wait for your uh interesting comments on this one check out the clips and then let me know what you think talk to you later bye